want to forge the hand apart separate from the blade part. Okay. It's a partition. Partition. Meaning there's a space there where you separate the handle from the blade of the knife. And I do the handle first. Okay. I use the edge of the handle to make the partition, which you'll see in a minute. I'm going to show you why most knives come out looking like crap by beginners. And this ancient Chinese secret, which I think somebody videoed me already on this. It's somewhere on YouTube. Uh, on how, you know what a, a banana looks like? Yeah. You don't want to forge a banana. You want the knife straight. So what you do is you bend the knife and the blade in the wrong direction. Then when you hammer the bevels, you're only hammering one side of the piece, so it comes back straight again. They call it counter curving. It's counter curving. It should be level in the fire, not down in the fire. You'll burn it, and this field will definitely burn. My palm is about four inches. This is about four and a half. So I'm going to forge this a little longer than this anvil is wide. You can use the anvil as a measuring tool. That's another trick. Okay. It's going to take me to lunchtime to forge this handle. And then after lunch, you'll forge your side. Okay. All right. We'll let it cool and you'll forge the other end into a handle. Then we'll cut it in the middle and forge the blade ends. Nice. Okay. Kill that. Excuse me. See, so I'm using the anvil. Put an indentation in there to separate the handle from the blade part. Now, I flatten it. If I don't flatten it, it'll be fatter on the edges, and that's called a fish mouth. You don't want a fish mouth either. So you flatten it as much as you uh, hit it on edge like this. You see, it's already narrower right. than this over here. And it's getting longer as it gets narrower. Turn on. Not that high, lower. With, with high carbon steel, you want to heat it slower. You don't want to burn the outside. All right. Now, it's fish eye, so I'm going to flatten it. And I'm not tickling it, I'm hitting it hard. Right. Now, this end is getting warm on me, because the heat conducted. Yes. So I'm not going to cool down the room water, because it'll break. I'm going to cool the end I'm holding in water. Ah. Simply because I don't want to burn my hand. Right. <laughs> That's not good. Turn on. Kill it. You can see it got a little longer, right? Oh yeah. It's already as wide as the end now. Yeah.
Don't call the red part. Mm -hmm. Catastrophic. <laughs> It'll destroy your job. Turn around. If you keep your mouth shut and ask intelligent questions, you'll learn a lot more than if you <laughs> learn stuff. Kill it. Thank you. Good. Now, I'm going to forge a little finial on the end, which you use a tap and die set for when it's cool and you thread it so you can put a pommel on it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And it'd be better, it'll be a hundred times better than that Home Depot crap stuff that bends as soon as it catches a root, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Are you rounding it? Yes, so you can thread it. That's good. Now, yeah, see the length? Yeah. It's about five inches, okay. good length for, for a handle. All right. It's straight, no fish fish mouth. No fish you can see mouth. it's flat. Yeah, yeah. Which means the scales will fit on nice. I'm gonna leave this right here. <laughs>